Today marks 80 years since the invasion of Normandy in France, otherwise known as D-Day. This battle was a turning point that carved a path for the Allies' victory of World War II. KTDC's Eric Mann is digging into the archives for us here tonight at 6, joining us live in our studio. Eric, why was D-Day one of the most significant days in World War II's history? Brock and Caitlin, the invasion of Normandy was the largest land, air, and sea invasion in military history. Historians say Western Allied forces got a foothold on occupied Europe on D-Day, taking the pressure off Russian allies on the Eastern Front. For the success of this battle and the war, many Minnesotans made the ultimate sacrifice. Those sacrifices that were made at that time are the reason why we live in the freedom that we live today. Former Rochester International Airport director Stephen Legvy was a Vietnam War veteran. His father, Vernon Legvy, was a World War II vet. We, we never talked too much about the war, um, and I never talked too much about the war that I was in with my kids. Legvy says this is a day of reflection, a public reminder that our veterans are at least close to 100 years old. The youngest D-Day veteran is going to be about 97 or 98 years old. Uh, their, their numbers are dwindling fast. It's just the passage of time. Data from the Minnesota Department of Veteran Affairs shows there are only 3,575 World War II veterans alive as of the end of fiscal year 2023. In Iowa, that number is 1,227. I don't know if the 85th anniversary is going to even be able to have any D-Day veterans that are going to be able to make it to France. Legvy reminds the public the freedom we have today was hard fought by these veterans. They made their sacrifices. Some made the ultimate sacrifice. So I think supporting our veterans is, is something we truly have to do. According to Minnesota Military and Veterans Museum curator Doug Thompson, there were more than 160,000 Allied soldiers during the invasion on Normandy, about 65,000 of whom were American soldiers. Nearly 4,400 Allied troops died on D-Day, including 2,500 from the U.S. 52 of them were from Minnesota. Live in the studio, Eric Mann, KTDC News.